Welcome back to episode three of my guitar kit build. And in this episode, I'll be going through all the steps I completed to get the guitar body primed and painted, whilst also finishing uh, the headstock and prepping the neck of the guitar, ready for all the lacquering. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and you'll be notified of all future videos coming up. I started with designing the layout of what I wanted on a guitar first of all, and as this is a Fender inspired guitar kit, I just went for the classic Tele style shape profile, as you can see there. Now unfortunately I don't have all the, the real nice tools that you need to cut like the band saws and sanding files and things like that. So what I did to cut the headstock was I used a jigsaw to get as close to the line uh, from the drawing on the headstock as possible as I can. And then moved on to using three different type of rasp files uh, that, that helped to shape it. So I started off with a round edge rasp file which obviously gave it a bit more contour on the end of the headstock. Then moving on to the smaller file to shape it out and then basically using like an allen key edge which has got a sharp side wrapping it with sandpaper which gives it a nice sharp edge into the corners as well. Now there is sanding, more sanding and a lot more sanding to do. So after about an hour and a half or two hours of prep you then get this headstock which in my opinion I thought it looked fantastic and uh, it came out really well when I finished with it. I then moved on to the cleaning and prepping of the actual headstock and neck of the guitar itself because you do want to get every single dust and particle off the actual wood itself before you even start painting because you don't want to leave that behind. So the best thing I used is basically naphtha which is like a, a lighting fluid um, that you can get here in the UK. It's very easy to use for cleaning, uh, easily available, and I highly recommend it because it evaporates very quickly as well. Always remember to use protection when using any spirit-based cleaning products as this can agitate your eyes and your skin, so always wear gloves and a respirator when you can. I then got some garden wire and tied it around the headstock to hang up in my garage, ready for the uh, spray paint and lacquer to be done. I only have a small garage, so the best idea I come up with was to stick up a large waterproof membrane, normally used for roofs, around the guitar uh, body and the neck that I'm actually spraying. Um, and even though you can't see it, the garage door is left slightly open behind me for ventilation. But here I'm actually using uh, what's called Vintage Amber Nitrocellulose Lacquer, uh, which I actually picked up from Northwest Guitars. Um, really fantastic paint to use, to be honest, so I highly recommend them if you're on a going to be using them to paint your guitars as it's more of an authentic fender style paint and coverage and it dries every you know within 15 to 20 minutes so you can easily get three or four lacquers on uh, layers on sorry as you can see here at the moment this is actually my third um, layer of uh, of lacquer and it come up really nice on top of that I use something called Autotech lacquer which I purchased online uh, which I'll be using to cover the neck and the body of the guitar uh, for protection. Moving on to the body, and firstly I would recommend covering up all the cavities you don't want to be sprayed. So I'd use a masking tape, or in my case, I used a blue painter's tape, just because I think it peels off a bit easier after painting it, rather than just a standard masking tape. But it should work just the same, it's just my personal preference. And again, I clean the guitar with lighter fluid, making sure I've gone over all the front, the back and the sides, getting off any dust particles you don't need, because that's the worst thing you're gonna do when it comes to spraying the guitar. I then set my guitar up in my homemade painting stand, which I've made a video on separately, so if you're interested in how that is done, go check that out. But this does help hold the guitar body in place while spraying the whole of the body around, rather than just having to spray the front and maybe a couple of sides waiting for it to dry and then moving on to the back etc. So it just, just makes it a lot easier to do. With my first prime coat it was just a, a quick coat to be honest, what I call a tack coat. So I wasn't looking to cover the whole guitar completely in my first pass, it was just basically to go on for the first part of the body, help sort of stick to the body and move on for further layers down the line and give it a bit more smoother coverage basically. After that I then sanded back the guitar until I was completely happy um, with how it felt with the smoothness of the guitar and made sure that it was completely level ready for next layers. Here is my actual third coat of, my, uh, of the actual guitar body itself 
as you can see it, it was i haven't sanded it back on the third time yet but it's really smooth really clean uh, and the stand really works well especially when you've got to move the guitar around and getting all the uh, nooks and crannies should we say of the guitar body so yeah i was very happy with this but straight after this i did sand back a bit because it was a couple of edges that i weren't happy about uh, but because the guitar has been grain filled um, i was just making sure that it's all level and nice there wasn't no ridges or bumps in there uh, before i then moved on to spray paint with silver Similar to my first primer coat, I used the first layer of the silver spray as my sort of tack layer uh, when I was going around. Always make sure wherever you're priming or spraying with colours that you're sort of around 15, 20 centimetres away. Uh, and I overlap the spray at least 50% of each pass as well. So as you can see here, it's not completely covering the guitar, but it works as a tack layer ready for future layers uh, as I'm working with the silver and, uh, and going around it. After three layers of silver spray paint, I then moved on to using a, a black uh, nitrous colour for the sunburst effect that I'm looking for on the guitar. And then I just picked up some old floor covering just to stop the spray getting into the middle of the guitar um, because it can blend in and I didn't want black marks all in the middle. I'd rather have it just on the edge to show the uh, sunburst effect. I gave that a good hour to dry and then come back with the Autotech gloss lacquer. Uh, that I got online. It's basically a, a spray can lacquer for cars and specialist paintwork but works really well with nitrocellulose lacquer and uh, as you can see here just went around the whole body and every 15-20 minutes uh, I'd go around and give it a new coat and currently I've gave it about seven or eight coats but it may finish with a little bit more but it does come up really nice. And as you see for the neck as well I gave uh, two coats of lacquer on the neck so it brings out the amber colour really nice on the uh, on the guitar neck itself and I'm very pleased with how it's gone so far. So for my first build I'm very very happy with how it's happened. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I look forward to giving you episode 4 in the future. So take care and I'll see you soon.